Hey folks, welcome back to Warlords 3 Dark Lords Rising. Uh, so in the last episode we just played the first kind of few turns where we were grabbing the most of these neutral, neutrally aligned settlements and now we're kind of squaring up I think to face off against the blue here. I was, By the way, I was my mouse was wandering up here because I'm just looking at this. There is actually another settlement here, uh, Zaninkin. It's got a good income as well and it's got white mana. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so that's going to give you a mana income. I'd missed that. By the way, I did a bit. I did a bit of reading on the in the manual. So, because I should have done this before I played the first <laughs> first episode, but you can get more heroes in the game. Uh, your first hero arrives free of charge, but then it says in all subsequent turns. Sorry, all subsequent heroes will hire themselves out for a large sum of money. Heroes who are hired will sometimes bring allies. Okay, and also. You get uh, mercenary offers from the, the from the troops that you are that are set for your faction to be able to hire as mercenaries, and you get three if I remember right. Okay, let's see if we can find. Yeah, these are all non mana producing places. It looks like the mana producing places are a little bit rarer. No, nope. I completely missed that. Here we go. Look, so here this one uh, gives you white mana. I wonder if there's a way. Let me just see if there's a way of actually checking which kind of, kind of mana we use. Uh, mana report. 14 mana is produced each turn. Okay. Um, yeah, we use white mana, look. So we want the white mana. That's interesting. These guys are grey. These are like the guys of the, uh, the dark mana. So that's interesting. Really, really interesting. So we want to go and grab that one there. Just actually go back to that mana report. Ah, there we are. Look, this one tells you what they're all producing. So this one here produces 14 white mana. Now that's currently being held by these guys, the skulls we'll call them. And there's two of, yeah, there's two gray ones and one gray one here. And then there's four dark mana down in this one here. And this one here. So we're actually going to, yeah, this is really, really interesting. This game's deeper than I really, than I first realized. There's a lot more to it than I first realized actually. And um, yeah, my cursory attempts to play it have not really really scratched the surface i don't think okay uh maybe we try to go and take that then because i think the the mana would be useful for us now I d we don't have a hero that can use it yet but we might but we want to save some money because if we get another hero you know maybe a wizard or a uh, someone else will turn up that we can actually use so i think that would be really really cool okay i think with this force let's just click on uh i think it's this one yeah ungroup uh and we want to just grab yeah we'll get these the pegasus and i'm gonna go this way let's bear with me a sec oh yeah we've we've uh, entered the turn I'm, I'm actually going to split these up that's what i'm trying to do here let's end the turn anyway Okay, it looks like red's really dominating there in the north. Oh, treachery upon the Dwarf Lord. So it looks like they attacked without declaring war. Interesting. Wow, the red's really doing well. Well, I think it's actually orange. Okay, here's blue. Now blue looks like it's coming into my territory. Um. I am really, really tempted just to kill Blue off. I wonder if we can go and take this... What have we got here? I think there are... Heavy Cavalry. I think. Heavy Cavalry or Knights. Okay, those are Heavy, heavy Cavalry. Those are Knights. They might be... They're, they're a different type then. Um, I wonder what they are. Okay. So blue is coming is kind of in my area. This is the horse lords. And this is Empire. Okay. Now, how are they feeling about me? Okay, Empire don't mind uh, quite like us, but uh the blue are on dislike. Let's send over a for I'm going to send a force over this way to go and take this uh this uh Zaninkin here. It's a citadel, so it's going to be quite. It's going to be relatively difficult to take. Meanwhile, I think, yeah, we've got a quest we've got to do. 
Yeah, I don't think they're going to attack me. I don't think. Yeah, I think what we're going to... Okay, here's, what, here's my plan. I'm going to send most of my forces out. Well, I'm going to send an army anyway. That's going to be these guys. Okay, these guys are going to go out this way. I love that sound effect. It's really cool. And uh, I think we're going to send... Look. Yeah, maybe I'll bring these catapults down as well if I can get them down there in time. <laughs> I really love the old animations. They look really cool. Uh, meanwhile, these guys, I'm going to get rid of... Oh, no, they're all moving 20. That's fine. So they can all stay together. Let's get these guys up here to go and complete this quest. I think it was this one, wasn't it? Uh, was there a quest report? No quest. Yeah, I think it is this one. Tandor, stable. Yeah, it's this one here. So that that should activate next turn, I think. Yeah, I don't think you need to do anything here. I'm pretty sure it just it should just activate. Okay. So let's just uh, end them there. They're going to guard. Yeah, let's bring these knights over here to help out with this battle. That should be enough, I think. I think these these five and with those knights, they should be enough to be uh, to reliably take that. Um, we've also got. Oh no, those are blue. I, that's why I'm clicking on them and it's, nothing's happening. <laughs> I'm, I'm just being a bit dense. Okay, let's get some of these guys. We'll get some of these over here into this fortress. Okay. And I might actually send some of these archers this way. Okay, just kind of like we uh, just jiggling our armies around a little bit. <laughs> what I meant to do. Let's just keep these guys together. Okay. Uh, next. Okay, that's it. Oh, no, it's not. It's going to bring these guys together. All right. End turn. So, yeah, it looks like uh, yellow and uh, orange are at war in the north. Yeah, and Orange is sending a bunch of loads of troops over. Ah. Still expanding his territory. He's got this whole continent almost up there. Looks like he's uh Orange is gonna be a difficult a difficult enemy to take. Now in the past, I tend to pick on one of these guys quicker, you know, like one of one of my neighbours, and I try to pick on them so uh, I tend to take them out as quickly as possible. Why did this not complete? Okay, what have I done here? just double check this yeah it is here Tyrax must carry a gift to the nearby site of Tandor stable so what is the gift ah oh, maybe I need to get a gift hmm. oh is it the stable here there we are sorry okay you may choose a reward so the map to a lost ruin um, some gold coins or a magic trinket uh, I think we're going to go with the magic trinket. Okay, so Tyrax re uh, receives Malian sword. This sword was forged by an ancient dwarf smith named Malian. Okay, so it's going to give me extra strength. Um, okay. Now, Chaos 2 is pretty good. Um, Chaos actually... It negates enemy... It, well, it basically minuses enemy bonuses, basically, when you're fighting against them. So that's going to be pretty useful. Let's go and grab another quest, I think, while we're here. I'll oh, we'll do another easy one. Um, okay, carrying a gift. Okay, we've got to go up to uh, Kaz Kazar here. Okay, we can do that. Now, how do we get out of here? Yeah, 
Yeah, we've got to we've got to go all the way over here. Look to get. Yeah, it would slow us down, so I don't want to bring that thing. Off it goes. Okay, um, we've got some more knights here. And some archers. Uh, let's send these knights off after uh, up here too. See if we can catch those up. Excellent. Just so my hero's got a bit of a bit more of a guard, I think it's probably wise. Okay, and Let's just bring these guys together. Okay, this is quite a big force. I think this is going to be my defensive force, just in case we get attacked. Um, yeah, let's bring these guys up to get together here. And these cavalry. I'm, I think this will be enough. I think this will be enough to get through. Um, yeah, because these guys have got a big morale bonus, and they get plus one versus cities. Uh, the, the Pegasi I'm talking about. So I think we're going to be alright here. Let's br uh, bring them up and... Okay, there they go. They're going to head off that way. Okay, and... Yeah, these this group here are... We are just going to have these as my main defensive force yeah that's just a whole lot of heavy infantry they don't have any special abilities what i might do now is just take a look at see what we can see what else we can build we've got quite a lot of gold um let me just see what our upkeep is okay our upkeep's 40 there's about a third of our income uh, we are building some uh, some expensive stuff as well with those knights what are these guys producing yeah, these these are just producing um, heavy infantry. Now we switch to something a bit bigger now, I think. Yeah, we've got the heavy cavalry. They're plus one in the field. Oh, we've also got the archer. I might buy some of those. Uh, sorry, buy the production, you know, building for those and get those. Get some more archers. The archers seem like they're pretty good. And let's also get out the eagles, because eagles, are, uh, their flying ability makes them pretty useful. Again, I might get some archers here. We don't need too many catapults, I don't think. Okay. Let's get these guys done. Let's bring those down here. All right, so a little bit of rejigging. And then turn. <laughs> what was that sound effect? <laughs> it was literally just a guy going Zzz. <laughs> Look at that snake as well. <laughs> I just love the goofy graphics. It's really like are these were these were probably oh, I don't know. I think in 1998 even these graphics must have looked a little bit dated. I think the resolution on them wouldn't have been too bad. Okay, uh, Terex the Paladin has gained a new level. He's now a knight, level four. So he's actually got the ability to get some spells now. So fortify this spell makes a hard a stack hard to attack, giving it a plus one fortification bonus. Uh, we've got bravery. This spell lifts the morale of all troops in the stack, giving them morale bonus and increasing their movement. Uh, and then we've got Phantom Steed. This spell summons a steed which will fly the cast to great distances. That sounds quite useful. Alternatively, we've got a whole a bunch of whole, uh, whole bunch of abilities. Um, oh, questing. All experience gained from quests is doubled. That's pretty useful. Yeah, let's grab that. Okay. We're going to be gambling on the fact that we are going to be around long enough to be able to get get some utility out of that. Uh, okay, so we're going to get to this this bridge. Okay. Next. Okay, we've got some archers up here. Uh, I think one of these 
yeah, this is just a village. This is a village. And this one's a stronghold. Let's start moving. I'm going to use the... Use the vectoring. Yeah, I think so. Uh, let's get these... Sorry. Set to vectoring. Here we are. I'm going to get, have those ones move there. Those ones move there now. So we get well, we're starting to bring stuff over into this central central stronghold because we want to be able to defend a strong uh, you know one of the strongholds with more defensive ability um get the ability to build heavy cavalry as well so we've got some fast uh, some you know faster units that are good in the field uh, but are also not too expensive to upkeep like the knights are okay and those knights can probably stay there I'd say all right okay these guys want to oh wow they've got to go right around the houses haven't they <laughs> <laughs> I love it, it's really funny. The sound effects are great. <laughs> okay, next turn. As you can see, look, once you once you start getting your head around it, it is quite quick to play. Now, obviously these games are only as quick as your brain works, right? And if you want to be good at them, you need to spend a bit of time actually looking around at what's going on around you. Looks like blue and red are at war now. That's an interesting turn of events. Okay, uh, so look at this. Orange in the north and uh, red in the south. Or black. We'll call these guys black. Black and orange are at war. That's interesting. Oh, look. Black's actually take it, got a, a citadel here. Interesting. Okay. Uh, we've also got orange and yellow are at war. Well, we knew that one. Uh, okay, so... Blue and and red are at war. Okay, maybe we can work together with blue. So we've got two options really. We either we either take advantage of the fact that blue and red are at war, and he's going to be fighting and try and take some stuff off them. The problem is we don't have our hero around at the moment, and that's going to make it's going to be difficult for us to you know to protect our assets. However, that said, we have got quite a lot of troops. We've got quite a lot of troops, and... Yeah, our rook keeps climbing, though. Got a lot of those infantry there. It's got a lot of archers in this one. Uh, let's just dis... Hold on a minute. Get these guys in up here. Yeah, just want to make sure we've got an archer in each stack. Uh, the next archer that's produced wait a minute where will it be they're producing eagles this one's producing archers okay so actually I, I want those let's change the I forget what it's called now vectoring let's change the vectoring now so that that's actually sending it here Oh, I think it was doing that anyway. Okay. All right. Okay, here we go. We're in the boat. And where was it we had to go again? I think it was this one here, wasn't it? Let me just double check that. No, it's here. Uh, so the nearby site on Port Kazar. So here somewhere. Off we go. Okay, we're actually going to get off at Port Kazar here ourselves. There we go. And ah, looks like Blue got there first. That's really unfortunate. Okay. Now, our relations with Blue are oh, they're trusting. 
Yeah, we don't want to be too... We don't have too many wars. Okay, well, let's just let that go for the time being. We're not at war with anyone. What we'll do is then we'll bring these guys back. Let's just bring these... Let's bring them back here. Pathfinding in the game seems pretty good. Um, I might bring these up. Yeah, let's get some let's get some of these troops up this way. Yeah, they've got plenty of heavy infantry. Yeah, I think I'll send these ones up this way up to here. We got enough. To, I think that's enough to defend those uh, those towns. I I think it's also wise before too long to start upgrading some of our other places, and I might do that immediately. So. For example, this one here probably, yes, yeah, it's just a village at the moment. Let's upgrade that one. We'll upgrade it to a fort. It's going to give us more income, if nothing else. That's only 17 income, giving us 22. Yeah, yeah. our upkeep's getting quite high. I think once, uh, what I like about this, this upkeep mechanic is it just, it basically stops you from just sitting around too long you know you do actually eventually have to go to war with people in order to keep your you know ever growing up keep okay that guy's it looks like he attacked a long hauler gets a quest all right we're going to complete our quest first Okay, what do we want? Do we want gold coins, an ancient tome, or a magical trinket? We've got we got enough items on this character, I think. Let's get a let's get some golden coins. There we go. Now we're going to bring them right back again. I think we're going to. I think we probably should attack the uh, the light blue, the sky knights, whatever they're called, and they're going to be the ones to go for. Let's let's jump off here. Sticking to the coast. I like it. Okay, let's get these guys guarding here. More knights. Now, it's these knights that are, that are expensive, but I want to build as many of them as we can. Now. Let's just disband these guys. Sorry, not disband. That's not the right word. Ungroup is the word I'm looking for. There we are. Just try to reorganize uh, these armies a little bit. Um, there we go. We've got a couple of battle, uh, a couple of forces there ready to fight. Eagle. Yeah, again, we're going to send these guys off this way. Let's go and take out. We'll take out uh, light blue. And end the turn. <laughs> Strange sound effect. Okay, it looks like Green's sending a big force over uh, over into the north. I wonder what's going on there. Oh, war with the Storm Giants. Okay, so they've actually declared war on yellow. That's interesting. Let's bring our main hero down this way. And then I think we're going to declare war on blue. Now, that is going to be difficult to take, but I, I think this one we can take. This is a stronghold. It's not going to be easy to take, but we're going to try. Now, I'm actually going to pick these guys here. Look, these can just fly straight down here. <laughs> I don't know why that sound effect makes me laugh so much. And uh, yeah, then the rest of the troops, let's bring them together. Now, for this attack, we're going to pick some of the better troops that we've got. So the, I'm going to probably send the light infantry off packing if I can. Um, we'll, instead, let's bring this group down here. These guys might be able to do it. What would their chances be? 
Okay, they're, they're not going to have any chance of winning that battle. But with the... Yeah, there we go, look. But with the, the hero, I'm pretty sure we can do it. Now, we need to make sure that we've got enough in these... You know, enough defences here to defend against whatever it is that these guys are going to be bringing. Okay. Is that too... I think we can win this war. I might actually bring these guys down now. I know I just frog marched them all the way up there, but let's bring them all the way back. There we go. So they are they're actually defending together now. What else have we got? What are you guys building? Okay, they are building archers too. They're building the eagles. There's so many reports in this game. Production report. Here you go. This is what this is telling you what you're actually producing. Okay. Yes, there's also quite a big army. Now, I don't think these guys would have any chance of taking this with the hero in there. Um, anyway, this turn, we are going to declare war on the sky... Uh, what are these called? The horse lords. Go. Yep, let's just uh, make sure that these are all done. And next turn. Wow, yellow's fighting back against orange. But now we've got green come to join the fray. Man, this is a good game. You know what? I wish I'd played this before. <laughs> it's one of these games that, you know, I I knew about and I just never kind of got into it because there was other stuff that I was playing at the same at the time. But man, it's really, really good. Okay, what have we got in here? We've got some, I think those are some kind of cavalry. Ah, look. Now he's moved his hero in here. In that case, let's go down and take this one instead. All right, now going to ungroup these yeah we could probably I think we could take this in fact let's attack with these what we've got here I'm pretty sure we'll win yeah so and we might if we lose like light infantry I don't really mind we probably will lose some light infantry here yeah we lost one of them and the, uh, the second group redeemed themselves there we go. So, uh, we can't pillage it. Let's just occupy here. Okay, right. We can actually build. We can actually build heavy cavalry here. I'm going to immediately do that. For in their incredible valor, your unit of heavy infantry has been awarded a medal. Interesting. That must be these guys. I'm guessing it's those. Does it show you the medal? Yeah, I don't see it. Okay, now we've got the other groups. Let's bring these guys back down here. And I'm going to have to lure out that hero, I think. I don't think we've got much chance. Yeah, you invite utter destruction, you'll never win this battle. I thought that might be the case. Let's bring these guys down then. Okay, so there, we're going to sit these guys here. Um, I think my four, my the armies that I've got here are probably a little bit too powerful uh, for the enemy to be able to defeat. Yeah, this is a stronghold as well. Now that one is uh, Daralak is also a stronghold. Whereas this one's just a fort, and I think this one's just a village, isn't it? If we up I think I'm actually going to upgrade this one. Yeah, we've got a thousand gold, so that's possible to do. Let's get a stronghold. I'll spend the eight hundred gold on it and level it up. Uh, ah, we have Hawk. Bring Hawk back over here. I know it's an eagle technically, but... Iran, Iraq, what the hell's the difference? 
Okay. And um, we're going to bring these knights over too. We've got to bring some more knights over. Now, knights will fight better in the fields, but they, they're not particularly penalised. They get a bonus for fighting fields, but they're not penalised for not fighting in fields, if you follow me. They get warding plus one. Let me just pause, guys. I want to see what warding does. Just bear with me. Okay, I'm just going to read out what warding does. Warding is a protection against the effects of acid, lightning, and assassination. Each point of warding negates one point of acid, lightning, or assassination. For example, a knight with plus one warding is being attacked by a null cavalry with plus four assassination. Normally, the null cavalry would have a 40% chance of assassinating the knight. The knight's plus one warding reduces the null cavalry's assassination by one to plus three. Okay, so there we are. So it's a, it's, an, it's a basically a protection ability. That's pretty useful. Um... Okay, we're going to leave these guys here for now. I'm just going to stick them on defend. These guys are going to be on defend. Uh, yeah, these are going to defend too. Now, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to change the vectoring here. Let's just cancel the vectoring for the time being. Um, and I just might just manually set it for this one. Let's just bring it down to the centre. Yeah, building lots of archers here. Let's go back to the heavy cav. Uh, sorry, the heavy infantry on this one. Okay, there we go. Good village, actually. Uh, 25 income. Seems quite strong. Um, okay. I reckon that's about it. Let's just uh, make sure the rest of our troops are just guarding. And roll the turn on. Yeah, it looks like yellow is actually fighting back well against orange. Green's sending another force up that way. Okay. Did blue move? No, he's he's just basically sat there. That's interesting. Okay, we need to start getting an army together. So we probably want the catapult because this gives us a plus two versus cities. It has a siege ability as well. Just bear with me, folks. I want to check what that one does. Okay, so the, uh, the manual doesn't explicitly say this, but I think what it does is I think the siege ability reduces the fortification bonus of the, fort yeah, the fortification. So that's actually really damn useful. Um, I think what we're going to do is let's just disband this group. Sorry, I unselect this group. And then we're going to bring the siege engine in. So we definitely want one siege engine. Um, bring these two up here. Now we're not fighting in a... Let's see what they've actually got. Yeah, the, I don't know what... I don't know what these ones are. I don't know if that's a hero. I don't think it is. But I don't, I don't know what it is from the uh, unit tile. Unit card. Got an orc tribe here. They're not at war with us yet, are they? Let me just double check this. No, not yet. But they don't like us. So we need to sort that out. Um, let's put together a, a force anyway. Right, these guys give you a morale bonus, which is really, really strong. And they get plus one versus cities, right. So the, yeah, the, the Pegasi are also wanting to come into this group, I think. They get five attack as well. Yeah, so they got nine attack altogether. He's got eight. Now, uh, yeah. Plus one. Now the archers give you plus two. Uh, missiles plus two. Now missiles it gives you a, an ability. Yeah, the ability of missiles basically gives you an instant kill. Uh, a chance of an instant kill. I guess it's 20% judging from that other mechanic that we had. So I want some of those. Um, and then we probably want some basic combat troops. Yeah, I don't want some heavy infantry. Maybe I'll just go with the knights. Okay. What else have we got sat around? 
Lots of archers. Lots of archers again. Let's go with these guys, because these give you a morale bonus, and that is going to be pretty big. Okay, here we go. I think we can win this. Yeah, we should win this battle nine times in ten, so we're not guaranteed. So look, we get we actually got a siege bonus. Oh. Okay. There isn't quite a lot of troops. There we go. Now we just got the hero. And we killed it. There we go. 69 gold pieces looted. Uh, do we want to pillage? I think so. Okay. So light cavalry, ogres and scouts was what that was producing. Uh, but we can actually get heavy cavalry ourselves here. Uh, heavy cavalry isn't a bad thing to buy. They're pretty good. All right. So uh, this is a level two fort now. That must We must have damaged it in the attack. So yeah, it's going to be expensive to build it up. We don't want to do that. All right. Um, so blue is gone. Uh, they're slain. They're, they're, it will tell us next turn that they are out of the game. So we need to think about another target now. I think probably what we're going to do though first is pick a quest. Let's grab an easy quest. Um, we'll do a... Carrying a gift. Okay. So that's over here, I think. We just double check us. <laughs> do you know what? I just looked at that and I've instantly forgotten where it's got to go. <laughs> Battle blunders. Let me just uh, check the quest report. Yeah, I was right. It, it is here. So the nearby site of Tandor Stable. So it's the stable here we've got to go to. Let's do that. Okay, everything else looks all right. Now, we probably need to replenish the forces that we had. Let's get... Get some knights. These knights are good. They got 11 attack with all those bonuses they got stacked up. That's not bad. That's not too shabby. Now, we do need another catapult, because it looks like how we lost our catapult in the battle. Let's build a catapult. Okay, we got 154 income. Now that keeps uh, 57. So we got about 120 a turn. That's not bad going. That's because we've got uh, we've just taken some more cities. That's actually 30 income per turn. This one was 21. So those two that we just gained has given us 50 income per turn. All right, guys. Um. I'm just going to end this turn and then I'm going to, we'll, we'll uh, end the episode. I didn't intend to uh, play this long, actually. <laughs> it's really good fun. Let's keep those guys there. Yeah, I think the rest of them just need to sit, sit pretty where they are. We'll just keep, going to continue building troops. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end the episode there. Hope you're enjoying Warlords 3. I think this is a cool little game. I think I can see myself playing this a lot as well because I just really like... I just really like how quickly, how quickly, uh, how fast it is to play. Now, for those of you who saw my Kingdom Dungeon and Hero uh, preview, you know the beta version. That's this. This game reminds me a little bit of that. It's not completely similar. Obviously, it's got more of a war game vibe to it, um, with the way that the combat plays out. But it's still, again, it's kind of fast to play, and you've got this situation where you've got a big map with multiple, you know, multiple nations. Um, you know, all trying to duke it out with diplomacy system. It's kind of similar in that respect. But yeah. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you next time. Let me know what you think about the game in the comments, by the way. And I will, uh, yeah, I will see you. This will probably be, I, I'm going to try to get this out daily if I can, but it just depends. I'm kind of, I'm going to be busy over the next week or so. Um, but we'll see what happens. Take care.